On the News Nation Border Report, Florida dealing with a surge of migrants arriving on boats, which end up abandoned on the shore. News Nation getting a tour of the beaches by Border Patrol, and now we'll take you along with agents as they monitor the sea. Correspondent Brooke Schaefer is live in Miami, and Brooke, you saw what agents are dealing with on a daily basis. Yeah, Nicole, a big part of the border story here in Florida is on the water, stopping these migrants before they even make it to Florida shores. Right now, there are multiple teams in the air and on the water. We went out with one of them. On our second day in the Florida Keys, Everybody got a PFD in? we geared up with CBP's air and marine operations, headed out to some of the busiest spots for migrant landings. It's, it's a remote area, so they just want to get here and avoid law enforcement and get to dry land. So, you know, they, under their minds, is that if they get to dry land, they're able to stay here. AMO agents brought us to a spot here called the Marquesas Islands. This is about 20 miles off the coast of Key West. We're about 80 miles from Havana, Cuba. And this is a very popular landing spot for a lot of these migrants. And this is the route they normally take, and it's just a straight shot north to the Marquesas. Along with border agents on the ground in the Florida Keys. How far west did you go? These agents are constantly surveying from the air and on the water. We've seen the their vessels, I mean, already halfway flooded and just a mixture, a slurry of diesel fuel, you know, human waste. They, along with the Coast Guard, are looking to stop migrants before they make it to Florida shores. And they do. These are videos from this month. The Coast Guard stopping and sending back hundreds of migrants, mostly from Cuba and Haiti. During our time on the water, we spotted this Coast Guard cutter. On board looked to be a group of migrants. <laughs> the task of finding these makeshift boats, AMO agents told us, is more difficult than you might think. On an average day, you're probably we're not going to be within a mile to spot them. And um, once it's rough out, they just they blend in with the waves and you're not going to pick them up on radar. The state of Florida has sent extra resources down to the Florida Keys, like extra troopers from Florida Highway Patrol and even the Florida National Guard. Some air and marine operations agents, like Kerry Martinick, who we met, have been temporarily relocated. We're just, we're just being able to staff 24 7 now. Before that, it was just, we were just going, the, those of us that were here, we were just going all day, and then you'd go home from work, and then you'd get called back in into work. Just nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a quiet day on the water from what we saw. Agents told us there are a lot of factors that play into that, including probably all of those extra resources that are in Florida right now. There are a lot of eyes on the water in Florida. Nicole? All right, Brooke, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.